It's okay, that wasn't gonna PB, not not be a worthy one at least. Because yeah, assuming I didn't choke the movement at the end, like last time, that would have PB'd by like, maybe three seconds. It was not, I would not be happy with that. So I'm fine with it dying. Yeah, I died because I failed the quick spin, so I did an extra hit on that one beast. Alright, that was very fast. I almost bonked. Gold. Yeah, I'm so bad at this game. I have to game over twice just to beat it. Perfect KB. Alright, let's not make this scary this time. I didn't know there was a frame you could pause there. That stupid time loss. That was a perfect KB though. So specifically what I do there I time my slashes to be a certain, well I do the first two right away, the third one I time a little bit later because I found that makes it more consistent that he turns right and so you can predict it then. And at that point you know the rest of his movement so you can plan accordingly. Oh, are they good cycle? No, just barely missed it. How do you manipulate the beast? <laughs> That's the hardest thing. Okay. That was slow. Probably lost all my time save. But this should still be sub 4. Or, um, sub 4. This should still be. Sub 450. Look at my best possible though. Even though that's inaccurate. 442 some of best though. Makes me wonder if I could actually get sub 440. But I don't know if I want to grind that today. Or ever. <laughs> All right, let's not choke this movement. Entering at sub four. It's not bad. Not good though. Alright, what's the prediction? I'm not going for the risky fall. Since it's actually a potentially decent PB. Four forty four isn't bad. I really want to go for the sub four forty. 